Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to uh, some BeamNG Drive. Today we're just going to play BeamNG. Uh, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we're going to be testing a good few cars today. We've got I think 9 cars right in front of us, we've got a few extra cars not on screen right here. Uh, these are all cars that I have built at some point uh, in my automation quote unquote career. Um, so what we're going to be doing is this is the jumping ramp map basically in BMG. We're going to take each one of these cars uh, one or two times probably off the ramp and I just want to see uh, which car can basically do the very best. They're all pretty much exactly the same as I built them. Uh, no changes at all. These are all just exported to BMG. These are old car files, new car files, cars I made six months ago, cars I made much more recently. Um, so starting from the front, we're going to quickly go through a little bit about the cars. So we got the Harry GT. This is one of my newer builds right here. Uh, it's got a massive, I think it's a six liter straight six 300 so horsepower, um, a four-speed manual, I want to say it's got massive, <laughs> massive wheels. Uh, we got this car next to us. This one is my Dodge Challenger competitor. This one is, I think, the Bar VP222, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no idea why it's called any of that, but it's a badass name nonetheless. It's got a twin-turbo V8, about 850 horse or so. Um, we have got this next to us. This is the Bravo 4x4, a old-school kind of Land Rover-esque off-road vehicle. It's going to do uh, a bit interesting, probably. Uh, going from the other side here, we've got uh, a pretty new car. It's the All Runner XTS, a 4x4 Ford Bronco competitor with a uh, NA naturally aspirated V8. We have the Blackwood FTL. This one, I never did a build on my channel for sure. Um, this is a challenge car. I think these are those two are both challenge cars uh, for my Discord challenges. Link is in the description. Uh, this thing has got a twin turbo 3.8 liter V8, I think, all wheel drive. Uh, we have this, which is, it's the Avara ZZ300. Yeah, the Avara ZZ300. Uh, it is a classic 1960s kind of sporty kind of race trim of a sports car. Uh, on this side, we have got this one, is the Remington XR4. It is a pretty much a WRC car, or focused kind of body. Uh, this one was actually built in the previous stream earlier this week. Now, this is a very interesting car. It's a turbocharged 2.8 liter 3-cylinder 4x4. Uh, it was it was interesting. It was interesting to say the least. This is the um, the Piage Mortel Turbo, turbocharged three cylinder. And last but not least, we got the Toro GT202, pretty much super Ute. Uh, 202 meaning 202 miles an hour is the theoretical automation top speed, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, we're gonna take these cars one at a time, uh, jump them off a the map, and we'll see which one just gets the farthest. This is the Piage Mortel. Uh, it's a car I built on stream a few days ago. Uh, basically, it's an Aston Martin Legonde body, except it's converted into a French limousine, basically. Uh, and what that means is four-wheel drive, a turbocharged three-cylinder, and just solid axles all the way around. And a pretty interesting, quirky look. Uh, once we hit the end of the ramp, I'm just gonna let off the pedals, and we'll just sort of see what this car can do. It's going pretty quick. 190, 200 kilometers an hour is not bad for 240 horsepower for a, pretty much a Lambert. Letting off the pedal. Oh gosh, it's taking off! Oh wow. What was that, 360 I think? We're not gonna press the brakes, we're gonna let it crash. 360! I think it's meters, 360 meters. Not bad at all, if it's not meters, I'll be sad. Uh, pretty much the very end, right off the hop. 360. Uh, I'll get a replay on that and we'll just take a look and I'll, I'll confirm the exact amount. This is one of my older creations, it's been around for a few months. This is the Remington XR4, it's, it's basically a rally cross car. Uh, it's got some pretty wild styling, I'm not sure if I like it 100%, I, lo I love this so that's just so cool. We'll sort of see what this thing can do. Sequential gearbox. Very, very, very quick. Very quick acceleration with the top speed. It is not that much. 225 kilometers an hour. It's, it's a lot. It's a very fast car. Off the throttle on the brake here. Oh, that was not a good time. I think like 300 or 250 was that. That was pretty bad. We'll leave it in 6. We're not going to touch anything. Let it come to a complete stop here. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay on track even. And it flips. Of course it flips. It did much more poorly distance-wise than the other car. Uh, but it's here nonetheless. Uh, and we'll see what the final distance was. Uh, now, this for is a car that's not actually... Uh, it wasn't at the start. This is the Zagora Venturi. This is a pretty much a 1960s Le Mans racer. Uh, I think it's powered by an NA V12. Uh, and we will basically launch this car at a pretty reasonable speed here. This car is pretty bad over here, though, I think. But we'll, we'll see how it does. Yeah, again, I want to launch all the cars at the very end at the same time, so we'll see that at the end of the video. Oh, wow, it's fast. 285 kilometers an hour, and we're going very far. It's taking off like a plane. Way past the other one. 
455 or so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the distance. Oh, that was a very... That was, I think, that's the farthest jump we, we have, I think, so far. Right? I think 425 was the Toro. 450 or 460, maybe, even. I'll take it back and we'll, uh, we'll get a screenshot of the replay. <laughs> that was so crazy far. And this thing is definitely not in driving shape uh, after that. Now we have the Bada Supremo. This thing, <laughs> it, it, it's a little bit different than the previous cars. Uh, this is built to compete against the Common Turismo or the Bugo as uh, Automotive Flux and Fitter have their own really cheap cars. This is my really cheap car. <laughs> that start though. It's pretty good. The two speeds. That's all we really need. Okay. Oh god, we're past the red line. Oh god. It's not gonna work, is it? It's fine. Can we keep, can we do it? Can we... It's still rolling perfectly fine. We'll take it. <laughs> it didn't even make it 100. Oh, can we can we count that as the second jump? Oh, it didn't even make it. It didn't make it 100. It didn't make it 100 even. Yeah, that was uh, not a sports car. It's not a sports car. Oh wow. Yeah, that was. <laughs> we could probably try to get. We, we could probably try to get without the valve trim blowing up, but I don't think it'll make us. Have much more of a different result, so I'll get the exact distance for that. And uh, this this one's still a winner in my heart, I think. And again, we have a completely different change of pace. This is a Blackwood FTL, pretty much a luxury sports sedan. I mean, very sporty sedan in this case, about five or six hundred horsepower, twin turbo V8, uh, all-wheel drive. I think it looks okay. It looks okay. And this thing should have a pretty good top speed, I think. I don't know what it is, but it should be like two by two hundred kilometers an hour. Nope, it's limited to the last product leader, 220. That's not great at all. It's not going to do well. We'll lift off. I have zero hope for this thing now. Ooh, 250. It's got all that power. It's got more than, like, almost any car. It's the second highest horsepower vehicle of... <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you see that crash? Oh, uh, so the second highest horsepower of any of my cars. Uh, the limiter. The limiter. If it didn't have the limiter, this thing would have been, you know, probably at least competitive. Look at that. Yeah, we don't need that. This thing's per This thing's probably- it doesn't, it doesn't run, does it? The engine's gone. Or, of course. Uh, we'll get the exact distance. Uh, it was pretty bad, but that's okay. We'll- we'll say- we'll take a look. Now we're going for a bit of a more off-road kind of car. It looks very weird at BMG, all the- all the- the black kind of roof fabric everywhere. It's fine, it's fine. This is the All Runner XTS. It is a naturally aspirated- I think it's a 5 liter or so V8 engine. Uh, pretty much an off-roader competing against the Bronco. The interior looks pretty nice though. It doesn't- it's not functional, but it looks nice. ESC can go off. We will put it on the recorder. Uh, I think this one will do okay. It's at an okay top speed because it's got a V8, but, you know, about 400 horsepower. That was quite good, too. Uh, and just a reminder, guys, yeah, at the end, we're going to be testing all the cars at once, or as much as I can physically get on the screen without crashing. Uh, full power here. It's actually pretty quick. Yeah, again, this one's limited to about 210 kilometers an hour. We're going a bit faster, though. 220, 225. It's kind of a heavy vehicle, though, around 4,500 pounds. And wow, about 275. That was not bad at all. That was that was actually surprisingly decent. And rolling. And rolling. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's not good. I wouldn't want to be in there. Uh into the pool of water. That wasn't too bad, actually. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. That was honestly surprisingly decent. Oh, the water texture looks interesting to say the least in this angle. I don't like that, but I kinda do. Okay. Uh we'll hop into the next car and we'll get we'll get the time down and we'll see. And now we can hop into one of my personal favorites. This is the Harriet GT. It's one of my newer cars. Uh, it is a classic 1920s kind of race car. And it looks... I think it looks awesome. I think it looks awesome. It's a little plain in some places, but it's okay. It's got an interior that doesn't function. You can see the exhaust pipes right there. But that's totally... It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just a wheel spin. Whole car is shaking. That's, that's totally normal probably for a vehicle. And we'll just like put it in the fourth. Oh yeah, yeah, only 200 kilometers an hour. Just over 200 kilometers an hour. 205. That's not bad for 1920, or I mean 1946, I guess is what it is, and we'll lay off the pedal. And like 180. And that was, it could have been better. Actually, it's, it's stuck the landing. The best out of every single car. We're not touching the brakes. A Harry GT is the only survivor in somewhat drivable shape. I mean, it looks like it's perfectly drivable to me. Where's in the headlight? Where's in the headlight? Yep. Still drives like a Harry GT. I like this car. This, we should do more videos, but we should do more classic cars, I think. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. Should I do another classic car? Let me know.
And now the Bravo 4x4, this is in front of us. This is a uh, pretty much a down-to-earth off-roader vehicle. This is similar to the All-Runner XTS, except just much older, uh, with a big old NAV8 again. Uh, and probably a bit more off-road chops than the, than the All-Runner. It's a little bit older. 160, oh, it's the slowest car. We're going to hold shift. I don't want to blow up the engine because this car is going to totally rock and kill itself. Almost 200 kilometers an hour. That's not bad. Wow. <laughs> that was like 160. That wasn't even totally awful. That was, that was not actually bad at all. It stuck the landing nicely too. And into the pool. Oh no, that was that was unideal. I don't like that at all. That was not fun. Not a bad one though. 160 or so. That was decent distance. Oh. Wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> Why is that happening? The tire's spinning. Oh jeez. Oh wait. What's happening? <laughs> Why is it still spinning? We just grab it. Can we? It's 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 fine. It is. It's it's done. Okay, that was that was interesting. Uh, 160 or so. We'll, we'll watch the we'll watch the replay. I'll get the exact distance. And we'll hop into the final car testing today, and then we'll hop again after that into testing all the cars at once. This is the Bar VP222. It is probably my most American car ever. Uh, basically, Dodge Challenger competitor. It's it's a front engine, rear wheel drive, twin turbo V8 muscle car in this case. Uh, pushing out about 850 horsepower. That's quite good. It loves to do wheelies and burnouts and stuff. We're gonna take off ESC and take this one just for uh, just for a little just just a little ride, just a little ride down the hill. We'll see. Uh, I'm hoping this thing could be a pretty fast car. Definitely fast. Very very fast. It's a little hard to handle. We're okay. It's almost 300 kilometers an hour. That was fast. 300 kilometers an hour is very quick. 400. And 25 or so. That was that was one of the highest, I think. That's one of the highest. Not a bad time at all. Oh my god. And the farthest distance. By a lot. You know, they say America's the best at everything. And I think this vehicle just about proved that. And last, but certainly not least, we've got the Avera ZZ300. This is a inline six, class six sports car. Pretty much a race variant of a sports car. It's like an M5 or an M3 or what have you of the time. Uh, there's a 3 liter or a smallest placement inline 6, 150 horsepower or so. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I love the louvers on it. We're going to hop in this thing. We're going to do a bit of a record there. We'll launch it. Just a bit of wheel spin. It's definitely not the fastest car, but it, it doesn't have to be the fast. It's, it's a 1960s car, so what do you expect here? It's... Oh god, we're going to go to 4th there. We don't want to blow up the engine. We're going to over it anyways. 180, 190 kilometers an hour is pretty good there. That's not terrible. 200 kilometers an hour. Seems to be like the minimum we're taking these things off at end. Let off the gas there a little bit. Yeah, like 180. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Smashing. Oh, that's not that's not drivable. It looks like the Harry was the only drivable car out of this pretty much after at all. Uh, not a bad one. Not not, not the worst. Um, it has I think the lowest power of any of the cars here. Uh, by a, by a fair margin actually, by like 100 horsepower. So it's definitely not a fast car. Uh, not a terrible distance. Now we're gonna hop in to the grand finale, hopping into every single car at once down the hill. I'm gonna get them all probably to chase one vehicle, um, and we'll just sort of see how that goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and uh, we'll take a look. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, so instead of having all 11 cars take the jump at the same time, we're just gonna do the top three contenders. We got the Zagora, we got the Bar, we got the Toro. The three farthest distance driving cars. They're all set to. Uh, go against my vehicle at the very, very, very bottom down there. Uh, we'll see whichever one gets the closest, and that one will be pretty much number one, uh, at least in my book. So we're going to start that, and we'll take a look. Okay, guys, so we're off. We are in the Bar VP222. We have the Zagora in front, and the Toro just behind. It looks like we're catching up with the Bar, slowly but surely. Definitely a higher top speed, around 300 versus about 200 kilometers an hour. And off the ramp, both of them pretty much dead center. The, the, oh, wow, this thing is going... Way lower, way quicker. Oh my god, the Zagora is very high up. Smashing into the ground. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Wait, wait, where's the where's the Toro? Where's the Toro? I don't understand. Where'd it go? <gasps> there it is. We were in this truck all along. Just sort of relaxing. Of course, the cars went right through us because I, I don't want to overload my computer right now. But that was okay. Uh, a little anticlimactic because the cars didn't smash into anything. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to finish off this video here like this. Uh, if you guys want to see more Beam and G stuff, this is my first time ever doing like a Beam and G, or one of my first times ever doing just a straight Beam and G video. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. It was a lot of fun to ramp these cars. 
Uh, and maybe I could do more in the future in a different kind of map or something else with all my cars. If you guys like it, leave a like down below. Make sure to join the Discord linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and as always, I'll see you next time.